Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Tuesday, happy two for Tuesday everyone. Let's get on to it. Big W Fatwood. Raw style. Getting down to the last of it. I think I've only got two sticks left, which is good. Go on to my um, burning stuff because I've got bags and bags of the stuff, so plenty of it. Resurrected my um, Fusion Gear ferro rod. Put a um, duct tape handle on it. Just kept the the fire cord survival paracord on it I really don't like these little rods but um, the, and the fusion gear one seems to be the harder type so they don't I don't think they spark as well personally but anyway um, once you start using the proper high speed large high speed strikers these fusion gear ones seem to work alright you can get good sparks out of them so As demonstrated they do spark okay it's just because I can rip the spark out of them with the high-speed steel striker got plenty of bearing surface on it the 200 mil ones are excellent because I, I really get into them And I used, um, with the duct tape, I just used um, the cheaper Aldi brand duct tape and just wrapped it around as per everyone does. So I've tested it and it works all right, um, that duct tape. So yeah, very happy with the way it turned out. Striker is stri choice today. Large Viking boat, first one I ever made. So yeah, it's a nice striker. It's a big striker, but um, yeah, it turned out good, quite even. Everything worked out really well with it. Very happy with that one actually. Just going to do char cloth. I didn't even bring stone out, so I'm just going to use my daily working flint. I've got to get um, into the. I've got a box in there inside with my more exotic flints from all over the joint. Got other boxes on top of them. Been very lazy. Just got to get them, get them out. All the stuff from America and um, and England mainly. Europe. Just burning off some of this older char cloth. Although some of it did take a spark very well. Others didn't. As I said, I don't. I didn't really worry about it. I don't even have to rip that stuff in half. It's got fuzzy, so I'm just going to worry. Not worry about it. You normally, only rip it to develop a couple of fuzzies. So if it doesn't, if it already has them, why bother? I love that it once the ember gets going.
Here we go. Happy Tooth for Tuesday, everyone. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.